In this lesson, we are going to add Beautify for the UI layer and we are going to add the states and mutators that we are going to use throughout this program. So let's start with our store file and here inside the store folder we have our index.js file and we need to import our Firebase and router here. We will need Firebase here because we are going to use the Firebase tools inside the actions and for the router while we are doing the login and registration process we may need to redirect the user to some other route in that case we need to use router so let's add the states that we are going to use Here in our case, we are basically going to deal with two states. The first one will hold the user profile values other than the email and password. And the next one, this one is going to hold whether the user is authenticated or not. By default, it will be false. And for the mutations, we will have a single mutation. And here inside the mutation set user profile, we are going to set the values for our state data. Let's save this here and now open the command prompt. Let's stop the execution. And here we are going to use view add beautify command to import and use beautify in this project. During the installation process, it will ask for a preset. You can choose the one of your choice, but it's better to go with the recommended way or the default one. And you can see Beautify is going to be added as a plugin. And the View CLI 3 is going to handle all that by itself. And you can see the plugins folder is created inside the src directory. And here we are having the beautify.js file. And inside the constructor, we can pass the beautify variables and also set up our theme here. Here we can see after installing the beautify, the contents inside the app.view file is also changed. Now let's start the server and see what changes are added. Here you can see the updated output after installing Beautify. And the default content is replaced with the Beautify default content.